and the case for the mini. So I went to Apple store earlier to check out that iPhone 12 and four things I'm gonna tell you. First one is that iPhone 12 non-pro model blue. It's very blue. I mean, it's navy blue. It's not that bad, but it's just nowhere near the commercials that we've seen. The second one is you really have to make an appointment. Otherwise, you'll be driving around looking for an Apple store that will let you in. COVID times really changed a lot of things. The third one is if you're planning to buy that iPhone, do it online, apple.com or your phone carrier. Save yourself the headache and just get it delivered or pick it up. And if you plan to buy that iPhone 12 mini, pre-order if you can on November 6, 5 a.m. Pacific time. And the last one is that 12 Pro Blue, that Pacific Blue pastel back, it's beautiful. All right, let's jump into that buying experience, first impression and initial test and comparison of the iPhone 12. But before that, click on that subscribe button for future videos about tech, unboxing, and gadgets. Yes, it ran out. And you can't even get in the store if you don't have an appointment. What? Gosh. So I'm buying the 12 Pro because the wife watched my YouTube video, the previous one, and left a comment that she's getting my phone, the 11 Pro, which is pretty good. So there it is. There's not much line, actually. Um, let's see. I have something available at... So your time slot would be 10, between 10.15 and 10.30. So there's hope. Ah. There's hope that we're gonna get one. Side of the table for me. Pretty cool. And let's see, so we're getting a iPhone 12 Pro 256 Pacific Blue? Yes, sir. Just don't open it up yet. No, 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 of course, of course. Yeah. It is pretty thin. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, look at how thin that is. I mean, like, damn. So I'm doing baby errands. Literally. <laughs> got the 12, 12, actually the 12 Pro model and a MagSafe just to test it out. Comparing it side by side, it's literally half the size. Okay, phone is face down. This is a matte finish. So it reminds me of 11 Pro. They have the same matte finish as you can see it. Side by side, you can see the size difference. The sides is glossy, prone for fingerprint, I mean marks. Size-wise, you can compare them side by side. And the case for the mini, as you can see, there you go, the size-wise. USB-C to the lightning, this one will be changed by next year. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, there's no power brick. Apple's reasoning for getting rid of the bricks on this time around, that's why this is smaller. Over two billion Apple power adapters out in the world. So we are removing these items from the iPhone box. That's actually a little bit of BS because unless you bought the 11 Pro, that's the only time you'll have this USB-C type of brick. Otherwise, you have those USB-A. So meaning you'll have to purchase, so once you get this, if you're a first time iPhone buyer or coming from maybe the eight, iPhone eight or older, or even 10, you don't have a USB-C power adapter, which you'll have to purchase one. So what I got is this Anchor um, Atom 3, which is USB-C and at the same time USB-A. $37, link in the description below. This is close to $40. Personally, I like this one because it's still backwards compatible with a USB-A. And you only get USB-C with this one. So the 12 Pro, you're missing the power brick in this one. And one sticker. So basically, this is 12 Pro and the 11 Pro. Cost cutting? Sure, that's fine. But this one, BS. This is a case Link in the description below again. I chose this because I wanted to save that $40. I know there's a circle in the back. So with the case on, I mean, this MagSafe still actually works. This is not a MagSafe type of case. So it does still attach and still recognizes it. So it's actually still not too bad. 
but it's weaker, but it still works. It does charge. So I wonder if this can charge the old 11 Pro. Oh, it does. It does actually, you just have to make sure it's a bit center. Let's see if it works for the 10. Okay, there you have it. I mean, so that MagSafe charger is actually not too bad. So final thoughts about these, or actually about this one. Do you need this? Absolutely not. This is $39. You can get a wireless charger for 18 bucks on Amazon. Link in the description below. It's an anchor. It looks really nice. The differences in terms of the camera is just that additional LiDAR and 0.2 increase of the aperture size, the iris opening. It's not much, it's very negligible in terms of night photography as you can see in this video. The 10 and 11 Pro have the same camera with six element lens. The difference is Apple started to implement the deep fusion. It's a software technology since the 11 Pro. So final thoughts basically, if you're upgrading from the 11 Pro to the 12 Pro, definitely it's not worth it because these two pretty much are almost identical except for the specs. This is very capable, the 11 Pro. Hold your money and just wait for Apple to introduce the USB-C chargers for replacing this uh, lightning connectors. The benefit of really getting this is the six gigabytes of RAM and the squared off design. If you're coming from a 10, iPhone 10 or older, it, it is definitely worth the upgrade. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate your time. Do click on that subscribe button for future videos on tech in comparison between these cameras and all the other devices. And like helps other people see this video and comment as well. And also supports the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video.